Hey there, it's Amber from youneedanamber.com and I am so happy you are here today. Every day here in the month of May, I am posting a video every day in May, a new video. So you should probably hit that red subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notified every time I make a new video, which is every day. Today on the channel, I wanna talk about, is this old news? Is it? something that can always be talked about. I don't know. I want to talk about building an email list. I know. I know you're thinking, Amber, I know. I know I'm supposed to have an email list. I know. Everyone says the money is in the list. I know. Everyone talks about why you need an email list. I know. But here's the thing. You do need an, you do need an email list. And those people aren't wrong. But I think it's, I think it's hard to build an email list and no one talks about that part. Um, but it's hard to build an email list over years and years, but it's just so necessary. And let me tell you why your email list is one of two things that you own when you have an online business, you own your email list and you own your website and that's it. That's it. That's all you own. You do not own your Facebook group. You don't own your LinkedIn profile. You don't own Instagram stories. You don't own TikTok. You don't own any of that. All of those likes and all of those followers, like even right here, even on YouTube, when you sub subscribe to my YouTube channel, I don't get any of that information. None of that. I don't know. Maybe I know your name. If you filled out your profile, honestly, maybe I know your name. I don't know your email address. I don't know anything about you. There's no way for me to contact you if you get off of the platform that I'm choosing to be on. So let me give you another example. Most businesses have a Facebook page. Great. I think you should have a Facebook page, like a business Facebook page. And then you invite all of the people on your personal Facebook to go like your business Facebook page. Great. Now you have 500 likes, let's say. Those 500 likes equate to nothing. You don't get to control the algorithm that Facebook gives. You don't get to control who got on Facebook the day that you posted something. You don't get to control any of it. So while it's nice to have those numbers, they're really vanity numbers and you don't get to control any of it. The only thing that you control is your email list. That's it. That's the only thing that you control. Somebody has to affirmatively opt in, which means they have to affirmatively proactively give you their email address. Once you have that, you get to keep that information that's yours. And then you can email them. You can communicate with a prospective client, a prospective buyer, through their email address. But that's the only thing that you get to control. That's it. You can take your email list and move from platform to platform. If you wanted to, you absolutely can. Like I personally use ConvertKit for my email provider. But if you wanted to take that, that email list and move to MailChimp, you could or vice versa. But having an email list is so important because it is the best way to communicate with your prospective clients. And it gives people who have affirmatively said, yes, I'm interested in what you have to say. It gives them a chance to say, mm, I'm actually not interested in what you have to say. So take me off this list, right? We've all done it. Like, hello, all the Kohl's coupons for your email address. We've all been there. I know that sometimes it can feel hurtful a little bit, like your feelings get hurt if you see your numbers dropping, that somebody has unsubscribed from your email list because like I said, it's really hard work to build your email list. It's a lot. But if someone affirmatively unsubscribes from your list, they're they were never going to buy from you ever they were never going to be your customer. And that's okay. That's okay if you're not for them. Like hopefully you want them to go find the people that they connect with and buy from them. And if that's not you, while that can feel hurtful, it's okay. 
but having that email list, that curated list of prospective clients, of people who are interested in what you have to say, people who want to be updated, that list is invaluable. The most important thing that you can have in your business is your website and your email list. Those are the only things that you get to control. That is it. So, so if you have not started building an email list, please, please start today. And please start with something free. <laughs> please do not go out and spend money if you don't have anyone. That's unnecessary. But please start an email list today. I'm going to leave a link below of a platform that I use. It's called ConvertKit and they have a free option. So I'll leave you a link there, but please, please start your email list. I promise you that you will need that list one day. You will need to contact people about a new product or offer or service that you have. I promise. I have been building my email list since 2014, maybe. Is that right? Yeah, it must be 2014. And while a lot of people have unsubscribed, right, they're no longer interested or I've changed businesses and they're no longer interested, whatever. There are a lot of people on my email list today that wanted to be on my email list in 2014. Isn't that crazy? They've been with me almost 10 years. They've been interested in what I have to say, which is like crazy. Um, but that's the importance of starting your list today. Start your email list today because you will be emailing those people years and years later. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Like I said, I will leave the link for ConvertKit in the description box below. Please click on it. Please make an account. Please start your email list today. I promise you there's nothing to lose. Nothing. Nothing to lose. So again, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm posting a video every day here in the month of May. In case I haven't mentioned that yet. Uh, so go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so that you can be informed every time I post, which will be tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye.